Hi everyone and welcome to DeFi Daily, the channel where every day we talk about DeFi, going through different news, tutorials and analysis. Today we are going to talk about impermanent loss. Knowing how the impermanent loss works and how to calculate it is something that is really important before going through any kind of DeFi platform. But before to start, I have a quick disclaimer for you. Always remember that all the contents in this channel are just for educational purpose and nothing has to be intended as a financial advice. Do always your own research before investing in anything. And if you are new to the channel, I also invite you to subscribe to be always updated to all the contents that I will go to publish day by day. And please leave me also a thumbs up to help me spread the word and obviously reach more people growing the channel. Okay, said so, we are ready to start and jump in to the topic. To help you understand, I will use an impermanent loss calculator. Uh, I'm using this one and, and uh, I will leave you also the link in the description below if you are interested in. But in any way, in any case, don't worry because you can find many different uh, impermanent loss calculator just googling uh, impermanent loss calculator. Okay, let's start saying that uh, an impermanent loss happens every time you are adding liquidity to a pool that is composed by two assets that are different. Let's say, for example, let's take uh, the Radium platform and let's say that you want to add liquidity to the pool Solana USDC. As you can easily imagine, especially uh, on uh, these days when uh, Solana is pumping so much, the price of Solana will differ in the trend from the price of USDC. USDC is a stable coin, so the price of one USDC will uh, usually stay around one dollar. On the other side, the price of Solana will, uh, will be more volatile and will change during the time. And how does it work? To start, we have to fix the initial price. Just as an example, we can say that token A, uh, the first token is uh, a stable coin and it has a value of just uh, each token has a price of one dollar. On the other side the second token is a token that has a, a price of five hundred dollar. It's just for an example it, I'm not talking about any specific token. I'm using these kind of numbers just to simplify uh, the process but uh, I'm not referring to any real example. Okay, let's fix uh, the future price. Obviously the price of the stable coin will remain stable, so the price will, will, will stay always uh, around one dollar. On the other side, let's say that the price of the second token is skyrocketing like what just happened to the price of Solana. Let's say that the price goes up four times. In this case, the price of token B would reach 2000. To understand how the impermanent loss works, you have to remember that when you add tokens to a certain liquidity pools, you are not owing anymore any token, any, any token of Solana or USDC in this case. You are starting to own a LP tokens. A LP tokens just represent a percentage of the total uh, value locked into the platform. Let's say that uh, you are depositing $100 into a pool that has a total value of uh, $1,000. It means that uh, you are receiving uh, LP tokens that uh, are representing the 10% of uh, the uh, total value locked into that pool. So in the moment when you are going to withdraw them, you are, with, uh, you, you are withdrawing LP tokens. Uh, LP tokens are representing a certain per percentage of the uh, pool. And uh, for this reason, you can incur any permanent loss. Let's try to calculate it. Let's say that uh, uh, you deposit $500 uh, as it's written here, $500 of token A and $500 token B. 
and the results of just uh, holding them into your uh, wallet it would be at the end of the period when the price of the token A remains stable but the price of token B just skyrocket like uh, what happened just before with Solana in this case in your wallet you would have something like 2500 because uh, you would still have the 500 uh, of value of uh, token A but at the same time your value of token B would, uh, would be uh, 2000 because the price has gone to, uh, four, uh, four times more in case you deposited the same tokens into the pool, you will not receive 2,500 as you were just owning them into your wallet. You would receive a different amount. And this amount and this difference is due to the fact that to make the price of token B going up, people have to buy token B from the pool. It means that the total amount of token B inside the pool will uh, decrease, at least in percentage of number of tokens B that are in into the pool. Because remember that the equation that makes the, the pool working is the fact that the ratio between uh, in value, in dollars value between token A and token B has to remain stable. So if the price of uh, a token B goes up, also the amount of the number of tokens that are inside the pool should decrease. And for this reason, if the price of token B goes up four times, at the end of the period, you will have $1,000 of token A and at the same time just uh, $1,000 of token B. The reason is because to make the price of token B goes up, it's needed that someone has to buy token B, depositing inside, uh, inside the pool some token A. And through this mechanism, at the end, you will incur an in impermanent, in, in impermanent loss. Why it's called impermanent? For the only reason that it becomes permanent only in the moment when you withdraw your tokens from the pool. But in that moment, the loss became permanent. And yes, you always uh, gain, received some gain because the value of uh, the, the total amount of value that you are withdrawing is still higher than what you uh, deposited the first time. But uh, in terms of maximizing your profit, it would be better just holding them into your wallet. And that's one of the reasons why most of the platforms that are giving you the possibility to add liquidity to a certain pools, say to certain pools, are, are, are also rewarding you with the possibility to stake your LP tokens to receive more uh, tokens as a reward. Not to mention that uh, when you are depositing, uh, when you add liquidity to a pool, you will also start receiving fees. So all the mechanisms that are active to reward people that are adding liquidity to a certain pool are due to the fact that they are there to help you recover the potential loss that you are encountering just adding liquidity. In this example, the loss is around 20%. Obviously, the impermanence loss is higher as much uh, the price differs from the price that you uh, that you had in the moment that you added the liquidity to the pool. Okay, let's recap. The impermanent loss occurs every time you add liquidity to a pool that has two assets that are not stable. So the relationship between them is not stable. And when you add liquidity, you are not owning anymore your tokens, your original tokens, but you are just owning an LP tokens that represent a certain per percentage of the pool. 
in the moment when you are withdrawing your uh, tokens you are not withdrawing the same amount of tokens that you uh, deposited at the beginning but you are re uh, receiving back a certain percentage the corresponding percentage of your LP tokens and uh, this can differ in value from just holding them into your wallet and it will happen even if the price goes down let's say that the price of uh, token B is not going to uh, 2000 but it's going to 1 100 so it's going down even if the price go is going down you will have an impermanent loss because it's not important if the price of one asset is going up or down what is important is the relationship between, between them if it's not stable it doesn't matter if it goes up or down the you will encounter an impermanent loss in any case so always remember that impermanent loss can cut your earnings so do well your math to be sure that the reward that you are receiving will be higher than the impermanent loss that you can encounter. Okay guys, that's all for today. I hope that uh, right now is uh, clear the difference between just holding a token or adding them to a, a liquidity pool and why you have to pay really close attention to the impermanent loss because could be a real loss not impermanent but a permanent loss that happen every time you are going to withdraw your money that's all for today please leave me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to also be updated every time i post any video and i will see you tomorrow guys bye